Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, we're finally doing it. We're going back into Sai's palace. I'm going to steal her treasure. But that's still a couple days away, and heck, we haven't even sent the card yet. So what are we going to do in the meantime? Well, as we get closer to the end of the game, we don't really have as many confidants to clear anymore. So, it's time for some mini games. Oh, you want to do it? In the mood to do some training? Yeah. We need every bit of HP we can get to take on Sai. I mean, if it even comes to that, we could just steal her treasure. But anyway, we all know what's going to happen. Let's begin the training. Ha! Yes. Without further ado, let's begin your training. Okay, I'm ready, Coach. Nice going. Oh yeah, did you buy some protein shakes? Quite prepared. I'm impressed. We gotta do. Huh? Use protein shakes before you work out? Yeah, what? I mean. Not for me. Are you gonna take any? Nah, I'm all right. Maybe next time. Now, let's well, carry out our plan. let's begin your workout. Okay, starting with a warm up. Nope, we're just going straight into it. Well, okay. All right, you can do this. Clear your mind and focus on your center. Don't give up. Push past your limit. Morgana, this is hard. I don't. I don't. Uh, <laughs> are you all right? You haven't built up much muscle yet, so don't push yourself too hard. Now you tell me! Oh. Nice going. Seems you gained some strength. Woohoo, now I'm exhausted. Well, then. well, it's getting late. Why don't you get some sleep? Yeah, I'm asleep just on the floor. Nope, that's okay. <laughs> but no, that is a way to pass time, and eventually you'll get a little bit stronger every single time. Just like real life. Oh, was today the day? Kinda just snuck up on me. Um, are you alright? Yeah, uh, I know you want to see him every day. How can he be gone? I feel so sick. There were still so many things I wanted to talk about with him. <laughs> Why can't he just stay forever? What am I supposed to do now? Uh, man, you really are a serious case. But it seems like you aren't alone. I was pretty popular with the girls. Popular with the girls? Mr. Inuit? Nah. It's gotta be somebody else. Ah. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you, so you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maruki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. For the past several months, I have come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies. In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. Um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible. Even after I'm long gone. Ow. <laughs> I guess things don't always pan out like you expect. Well, that's it. 
thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. I wanted to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Mm hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise, anyhow. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I order the deluxe bowls for us. Well, you've got to be at least a little lavish on occasions like this, right? This aroma's really triggered my appetite. Too bad I can't see anything now. I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. And as a phantom thief as well. There's no need to be obtuse. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? You know, the Phantom Thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target, a reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of heart you induce in your targets. Well, I did pour my heart and soul into this research for a number of years. To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April. When I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students, I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you? Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Uh, thanks. thanks. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Hmm. Well... I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition, so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that 
change your opinion of me? A deal, eh? Well, I'm awfully grateful you see it that way. And just so you know, I have no intention of telling anyone about this. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though, it'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, thank you for everything up to this point. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops, looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again though, right? That's right. Hey! No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. Dang, man. I knew he wasn't gonna stay forever, but seriously. He was our bro. Fansite's on fire! Anyway, tomorrow's finally it. Hope everyone remembers. The date of our plan? Of course we remember. That means we're sending out the calling card today, right? Yeah, we got to. Yes, today is our only option. The police will have yet to actually make a move. I'm certain we've reached our limits. We wanted to wait as long as possible to make Makoto's sister panic, right? Yes, taking that into account, today would be the best option. We can speak in more detail about this after school. All right, see y'all at LeBlanc! Okay. Gotta head straight home and get ready for the meeting. Hope you're prepared. <laughs> Boss said he reserved the place just for us. We're free to drink as much coffee as we want. Ain't this place always empty, though? Huh? Everyone here is a witness. Uh, uh, I, I was just joking. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Sai-san's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method. No matter what she asks, I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. 
I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well, then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yep, got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed! Tomorrow's finally the day. All that's left is to carry out the operation. That Makoto outlined earlier. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Now we just need to hand it over. As long as we can get it to Najima. Hmm. That's a run on sentence, Morgana. I know I'm barely paying attention, but what the crud are you talking about? God dang it. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense! They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them! Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Uh, oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Let's do this fair and square. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis! I'm on your side! I won't let anyone do anything to you! <laughs> What an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not! Yes. I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Well, okay. we did all we can. Forget about going out tonight. We need to prepare for tomorrow. But I'm done preparing! Ugh. Oh well. Sorry for the wait. I believe it went well. I hope so. Thanks, Mako-chan. It's all going according to plan. So, it's finally come to this. I actually feel somewhat nervous. <laughs> come on. Don't freak out so much that you screw up all right. You want to talk. <laughs> I ask that you go easy on me. Well then, see you tomorrow. Ryan. Hold on a sec. Crow, go over the operation again before you leave. Huh? It is just as we discussed earlier, is it not? Hmm. The battle will decide our future. We must ensure we're fully prepared beforehand. Very well. Our objective is stealing Saison's treasure. We will meet at the courthouse at approximately 6 p.m. Good. Wanna give us one last word before we go, leader? Uh, what's bonkin'? <laughs> I'll be relying on you. What a wonderful, trusting relationship. I will do my best in this as well. All right. We can't afford any mistakes, especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us, so let's give it our all. Heck yeah. But, yeah, I still have yet to actually prepare for the boss fight, and... Uh, we don't need half these personas. And I might as well update our team comp.
our equipment and all that. I've made the decision I want to bring Makoto into this battle and come to think of it, yeah, all of her gear's outdated. Okay, a lot of menuing later. We're as strong as we're gonna get. And as for tonight, it's a free night. Do whatever you want. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow's our only chance at the treasure. So it's do or die. Let's knock this out of the park. Right. <laughs> Everything's on the line. Can't mess up now. I dreamed that I got stranded on a snowy mountain with Kawakami. Uh-huh. I'm glad it was just a dream. What? Huh? Why are you dreaming about your teacher? Oh my god. Whatever. It's time. The day has come. Are you all prepared? What of the calling card, Makoto? I showed it to Sis. She took it from my very own hands. Makoto. I understand how you feel, but you mustn't be so downtrodden. Yeah, if we screw this up, we're done for. It's way more than losing the place we belong. We could even lose our lives here, you know. It'll be all right. I want to save my sister, no matter what. Is everyone decided? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All's well that ends well. So much has happened since we first started. You guys have become quite the reliable team. All right, Joker. This is the Phantom Thieves' final heist. Give us the signal. It's showtime. Let's do this! After a lot of stalling, it's finally time to steal Scythe's treasure, whatever the crud it is! And even if we come into a battle, which, I mean, there's a chance, like, I don't know. We're ready. So, we got our team comp, we got our personas. Let's go. Let's head in there and steal the treasure. <laughs> I'm just pumped up, man. Having, this, having the lyrics to this song after all this time, after all these successful missions. Ain't this one the final one? God, I just love it. I already know where it is. Let's get in there. I like how he politely opens the door. Whoa. Whoa. Where's the treasure? God damn. <laughs> it seems you came. Just as I had planned. Dang it. She, she planned? No. Was the treasure put on display to lure us here? Looks like it. So that's why we could faintly see its shape. First off, allow me to compliment you. I never expected you'd be able to make it this far. When we did, we would much rather have the treasure than your words of praise. Where did you hide it? Something tells me over there. Come! We shall put an end to this once and for all. It seems as though she wants us to pursue her. Dang it! She's mocking us! Let's go after her! I mean, we can't not do it. I kind of feel like this is a trap, though. But, eh, we'll be fine. We got the wild card, after all. And a crap ton of personas. Yeah, let's go up the elevator. Catch! Get down! Come on! We gotta go! Yes. Alright, let's do it. Sis, I'll protect you no matter what it takes. Right. Let's get in there. What kind of game will it be this time? No matter what you bring out, we will emerge victorious. You are making a grave mistake if you think you have me cornered. I only guided you here because this place allows me to fight to my heart's content. Sis... When my father died in the line of duty, I hated his killer from the bottom of my heart. Dying to uphold justice sounds virtuous, but the ones left behind have to clean up the mess. Can you imagine the hardships I had to endure? Perhaps I had overestimated her. I thought her reasoning would have been more noble somehow. She's lost control. This is wrong! Justice cannot yield to evil. I must win, no matter what! This is nothing more than self-righteousness. All we need to do to determine who is right is battle. What is she intending? No more coins or playing games! We ain't following your damn rules! 
Oh, you will. There is no room for negotiation. You will know soon enough. What was that? Now, come at me! You'll save her, right? All right, everyone. Be on alert! <laughs> Here we go. The battle begins against Shadow Psy. And as always, we want to take our first turn to prep for more damage on the second. Luckily for us, Makoto has Concentrate and a super high magic stat because of the equipment we gave her. As for Haru though, we want to start spamming Makarakarn. I'm using a very specific strategy and it revolves around Haru. As for the catchy, just, yeah, do Megaton Ray, you are no. He's kind of going to do that a lot, but on her first turn, she's bending our HP. I kind of figured, given we're fighting in a roulette, that would happen. What the? Now let us play a game of roulette. The stakes will be our lives. Of course, acts of violence are forbidden here. One must follow the rules. We already told you, there's no way we're gonna follow your rules anymore. That's fine by me. Such troublesome people will just face the penalty. There's a penalty for not spinning the roulette. What should we do? You know what they say. Rules are meant to be broken! What's that? What's that? Yeah! Big damage! Ah, so you've broken the rules. In that case, it's time you be penalized. Cheaters get punished! Joker, are you alright? What? This is the penalty? Those who cannot follow rules are not to be tolerated. That is simply how society operates. <sighs> So yeah, maybe breaking her rules isn't such a good idea, but I wanted to do it anyway. Just to show off some of the extra dialogue here, but it's badly, so I want to damage the boss. I can't do that. You gotta guard, and just wait for her to continue the game. You will predict which pocket the ball will fall into. Now, the time has come for our first round. Choose where you will place your bet. I'm almost positive she's going to try and cheat, but even if we bring that up, she'd just ignore us. We should go along with the game for now, and try to gain evidence on her methods of cheating. I agree. So, it's time to gamble. You have to spin the roulette and guess accordingly, to get buffed or debuffed. But something tells me Sai's gonna cheat anyway. Well, how will you bet? But, because we know Sai's gonna cheat, we can minimize our bet, and hopefully not take too much damage. Have you made your decision? Then let's see the results! We lost! Have you figured anything out, Joker? Really? How is she doing it? You're right! It did seem like the ball floated for a split second there. How humiliating. Let's catch her in the act so she can't talk her way out of it. Have someone snipe the pocket when that glass lid appears. You're in charge of choosing who's gonna be the sniper. Let us expose her treachery. Alright, it's time for another special order. Leave it to me. I won't miss the mark. As long as I get close, even this gun should work. I'm ready whenever. For this special order, it doesn't matter who you pick. So, we're gonna send in a catchy. This is how it's done. May the best player win. The stuff displayed on the monitor changed. That must mean the betting changes every time. Yeah, I kind of figured. So, for another turn, we cannot attack. We have to wait for the roulette to finish. So charge up, concentrate, maybe set up a Makara Karn and all of that. I'm actually gonna con- Oh, we already have that, dumb. I'm gonna wait to Ma Raku Kaja, because really, we need to do things in a very specific order here. You'll see why later. The sniper is in their designated spot. All that's left is to wait for the next roulette spin. Very well, time to make your bet. Well, 
How will you bet? This time, things are different. Since we have a catchy in position, we're going all in. Bet as risky as you want! Hopefully your prediction will be correct this time. <laughs> where the real battle begins. Shadow Sai is gonna spin the roulette one more time, and depending where the ball lands, her elemental affinity will shift. But this turn, she has no elemental affinity, so use your strongest attack and hope they hit. Okay, that is bad, but we're gonna save our concentrate for next turn. Now, we want a Ma Raku Kaja on Makoto's turn because Shadow Sai's damage is nothing to laugh at. She can physically attack you for a lot of damage and also crit, but we're gonna use this to our advantage and rig the game in our favor. Hopefully, the ball will land on either nuclear or psychokinesis, and then we can go all out with Haru and Makoto, but let's see. Wait, what? My justice has revealed to me. I have been blessed with the ability to destroy all evil. Uh, okay, that's never happened before. Oh my god, no! Come on, Jesus, okay. We almost lost. <laughs> All right, um, this is bad. So she is currently an element we don't even have because... Tomp, dude. Uh, the best thing we can do is just go to Dasaojo and try and be a support class. God dang it. This is not good. Um, first off, let's heal up Makoto. Joker should be fine because we're going to use a Makari... A Karn. On, uh... God dang it, no. Frick. <laughs> I just realized that was pointless. He already blocks that. Dump, okay. Akechi's just our base in the hole now. Jesus. All right. We don't have any curse damage on our party at the moment. So, there's only one way to actually damage her, and that is with either using items which already do no damage or Akechi. And I don't want to do that, but that's where the cards landed. Pardon the pun. Okay. This is kind of a problem, but with debuffs and buffs applied, I think... Ugh, God dang. Even our physical attacks should be able to do a substantial amount of damage. It might take us a couple of turns, but 500 a turn isn't bad. Meanwhile, she can't actually damage us. Depending where the ball lands, her elemental affinity will be the opposite of what her element is. That's kind of confusing, but hear me out. If she's blessed, she'll be weak to curse. Vice versa. That sort of thing. But we really just have to bet on a catchy here and hope that we can survive. Chances are we should be good because Haru is just so incredibly useful in this battle. If she sets up enough Makara Karns, the fight is yours, honestly. And another holy strike. Nothing. Not wait, please. Yes, yes! She's charging us up. God dang it, Futaba, I love you. This will mean next turn, Akechi's gonna do a little bit of damage. Approximately 2.5, but yeah. Now, god dang it, I think I don't want to jump the gun here and go to Rongda, because I don't know if Feishi's going to enter next, so we'll just continue to use more debuffs and hope that Akechi can do this. We're really just at the end of our rope here until she goes to a phase where we can do more damage. I was betting the ball would land on nuclear damage to try and attack Haru, but I guess I was just unlucky. Only victory matters. To guarantee it, you have to be willing to do anything. 
says it might make right. No matter what happens here, I need to keep winning. Why? Apparently that was enough. We're going to the next phase already. I can't even believe it. But the roulette is going to spin one more time. And I already know where the ball is going to land. Almighty damage. Because Sai is the almighty judge. We got a lot of problems. Next turn, she's going to deal out a ton of physical damage. So we need to stay fully topped off. Make sure Rakukaja is up. And honestly, just hope for the best. If you have Futaba's Confidant maxed out, you will survive one mortal blow no matter what. But seriously, she, her, her damage is going to skyrocket. But on the plus side, at least we can actually damage her next turn, so that's good. But, well, <laughs> there's no suspense. I already know where the ball's going to land. Yeah, here it comes. Her strongest attack is up next. Oh boy, woohoo. What in the world? I'm right. I'm always right. That's why I have to be the victor. All who stand in my way will be crushed. Here it comes, brutal impact. This is quite literally a coin toss if we survive or not. But, come on, yeah, we thought it. Holy crud, okay. Everyone else is in mortal danger, but that's fine. I know that sounds effing mean, but it's true. One shot kill, full damage. There we go. Once she's entered a berserk state, her defense will go all the way down, but her offense will also skyrocket. So this is basically a burn phase. Luckily for me, we did get Futaba to give us the super boost, but still, she will pre predominantly use physical attacks. You gotta be prepared with some Makara Karns. Hopefully you got them. Gatling gun it. Oh my god. Yeah, that did a lot of good damage to her, but pro still low. It doesn't matter though. We're gonna charge again. One shot kill with set is really the way to go. Honestly, have we even had a chance to attack? I, I can't risk it. I gotta just keep using support skills on Makoto, or we might wipe here. And that'd be obviously bad. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. We really can't let Joker get hit. He does have high counter, but that's still like such a low chance to activate. We gotta stay absolutely safe and go for the Megidola, I guess. What else can he do? We're almost finished. Uh, I just need to win. As long as I can win. That's all that matters. Sis. So if you bring Makoto to this fight, you'll get that little bit of dialogue, but... <sighs> what the crud? Oh, okay, I thought that was a heat riser coming from Futaba, but no, it's just an agility boost. With this last hit, though, we should be fine to finish it off. Please, let this hit. Jesus Christ, I'm... Thank God. All right, I made that look really easy, but seriously, no. That was a tough battle, but we're all done. God dang, dude. I've never seen her swift, to, like, shift to bless damage. I'm just happy that's over. It's literally everyone levels up. God dang. Now we're finished, and... I'm just happy that fight went the way it usually goes in practice, because, trust me, it's not easy. We're finally done. So I've lost. Sis! That's only a shadow. Why are you so... Quiet! Sorry. We'll go grab the treasure. Makoto? I don't think it's wrong to bring light to evils which can't be judged by law. That's all the Phantom Thieves have been trying to do, too. But these aggressive investigations? Twisting the truth for your own personal gain? Please! You have to think back to the feelings you had when you first wanted to be a prosecutor. Think about your justice, sis. My justice. Try to remember how you used to be. How I... Nijima-san. She's just like my father. What caused them to change like this? Hmm. Even though their own desires were the cause, succumbing to such distorted thoughts is strange. Is there another reason they don't know of? We found it. The investigation will now be able to proceed. The suspicions against you will be lifted as well. This deal we made was a great experience for me. 
to think that I, a detective, would act alongside the Phantom Thieves. By no means. This shall be the end of our working together. That was part of our promise. You haven't forgotten, have you? All right, we don't need to stay here any longer. Are you all right? I am. Let's go. Huh? Enemy readings! When did they... They're gathering outside! For real? The hell's going on? Look at those numbers. This doesn't look good. They defeated the palace ruler and even stole the treasure, yet the shadows are still restless. It doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? There are more coming? This'll be dangerous if we don't do something! Huh? We need to go now. Those guys in black suits are almost here. We'll be done for if we get surrounded. A team this large would be discovered immediately. We had best split up for our escape. Although, we'll need someone to act as a decoy. No, that's too dangerous. Joker? Are you planning on distracting them by yourself? Let him do it, Queen. He's quiet. Once his mind's made up, he's not gonna take no for an answer. I'm sure you ain't gonna die. It's you we're talking about here. Please don't do anything reckless, okay? I'll never forgive you if you don't make it back. We still haven't fulfilled our deal, remember? Even more are coming! This truly is a painfully reluctant party. It seems we had best hurry. We'll see you later. He's here. Move it immediately. 